Hi guys, my name is Nick Smith. Thank you for joining this episode of Connect. Today we have a really cool hands-on demo of a mechanical flow metering solution. We have Javier Ramos here from our Low Power RF team joining us. How's it going, Javier? Good. Cool, so before we dive into the actual demo, can you tell me at a high level a little about flow metering and flow metering solutions? So usually when you hear uh, flow metering, we, we're talking about gas, water, heat uh, flow. And in, in, those, in those applications, we see a lot of metrology uh, across the board, uh, like ultrasonic. Uh, more today, we're going to be focusing more on uh, impeller-based uh, uh, metrology, which is a rotating disc that's uh, being rotated by the flow of water or gas. And we're able to monitor the rate of this uh, change and to calculate the the, the flow of uh, the water and gas. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And so for the wireless piece, what kind of wireless standards or technologies are we seeing being used in these flow metering solutions? So yeah, in, in flow meter application, in uh, most cases, uh, the, these, uh, these need, need to be uh, battery operated. Therefore, uh, sub one is usually the ideal solution that, that can provide low power. Um, okay, so for TI's sub one solution that's available, what kind of key uh, elements allow to get the low power needed for these solutions? So yeah, in uh, CC1310, we have three main blocks. Uh, we have the M3 core and the RF. And the sensor controller. So okay. the sensor controller is what's the block that uh, the sensor controller uh, core is, is what's going to be uh, interacting with the actual sensors, the LC circuit that we have here in this application, um, while the M3 and RF are sleeping. Okay, so the sensor controller can monitor this flow meter solution while the rest of the device is sleeping, allowing for very low power consumption. Is that correct? correct. Yep. Okay, cool. Well, can you, uh, can you show me what I'm looking at here? Tell me a little about this setup. So yeah, so we have this uh, board right here that's uh, powering up this disc to kind of mimic the flow of water okay. and gas. Um, and then we have the CC1310 launch pad that it, then we have uh, the LC sensor, sensors attached onto the top of it. Okay, measuring the, the flow of the disc correct. or the rate. Okay, well let's fire it up. Show me what it can do. So this is mimicking water spinning the disc, right? Correct. And then what am I seeing over here? So here on the far right, we're seeing the actual RPMs uh, being calculated. Okay. And then this is uh, the counting the, the, the rotations. Okay. Cool. So it's counting backwards, I guess, the number of rotations. Yep. So then if we go ahead and press the button, we get able to spin it the other way and start counting the, the other direction. Okay. So now it's counting up and we can see the RPMs again. Cool. That makes sense. Uh, this is a very cool demo. So if the folks watching want to learn a little bit more about this, where can they find some references? So yeah, if you're able to go to TI.com and look up the TIDA01228, you'll be able to find this TI design on TI.com. Perfect. Well, thanks, guys. Uh, thanks, Javier. Uh, thanks, everybody, for joining this episode of Connect. Be sure to look up the TI design that Javier mentioned for more information or go to TI.com slash SimpleLink for more information about our SimpleLink solutions. Uh, always remember you can tweet at me, at Sensor to Cloud, with any questions or suggestions of new topics. Uh, and thank you guys. We hope to see you next time.